In terms of changing your state of consciousness, it's not something you can do so much as you enter into the reality of. It's like it's it's coming into the, the agreement with what is already true about who you are as a son of God, who you, your identity in God, coming to that realization that you are uh, living in that interactive relationship where he's in you, you're in him, the abiding within his presence, he's abiding in you, and then beginning to connect up relationally with that, that changes your consciousness the state of mind that you live in so i would say it really starts in peace coming to a place of peace of rest of accepting the reality of who you are in god that you are forgiven that you are been made righteous that you've been justified that you are accepted that you are included all of those things that brings you into a state of love and joy and peace that you're loved unconditionally there's joy in life you are grateful gratitude is expressed for the life you're li living for the reality of that life and then you live in the peace which goes beyond human understanding in that jesus said my joy is in you so your joy can be full you know love one another as i've loved you so be loved and then my peace i leave you not as the world gives peace but i leave you a different sort of peace a peace that is a, a state of being accepted loved brought into the reality of that relationship with the father that begins to alter your consciousness from a doing to a being reality and i think that is the major key to a shift of consciousness is i don't have to do anything for my relationship with god my relationship with god is free it is by grace through his love I don't earn it. I don't try and work for it. I don't try and do something to maintain it. I enjoy it. I enjoy being loved. I enjoy the joy of my relationship with God. I enjoy being in that state of peace because I don't have to do anything. I can enjoy life because I'm not bound by duty, obligation, fear, negativity. So then being that state of being is what I then live in. So I live in unconditional love. I live in, in grace. I live in mercy. That is the state that I live in. So I'm in rest. I don't strive. I don't struggle. I just enjoy. So then how does that actually outwork in everyday life? Well, I enjoy everyday life. He's with me. I'm with him. And I realized that I don't have to try and do something to communicate with God. He's in me and I can engage him. So I'm constantly in communication. I'm constantly face to face with him in the light of his presence in heaven. He's constantly connected to my innermost being within the center of the core of my being. So I'm one with him. Whoever is joined to the Lord is one spirit. So you literally become this state in this state of oneness where you're aware as a sort of almost a, the background of my life is an awareness of his presence and my presence in him. So I live in that state of love, joy and peace continually. Therefore, communication becomes more of a cardiogenosis. He shares his heart with me. I know his heart. That gives me a sense of peace. Then I can outwork his heart creatively as he inspires me so i'm inspired with his intention and then i become authoritative with his intention in an everyday way so then i don't come with him with an agenda so it's when you're resting in him you don't come with an agenda you don't try and encounter him or communicate with him for an agenda you just want to know his heart you just want to walk with him in fellowship in intimacy in relationship so essentially, just rest. Let him begin to change the reality of how you see yourself within the relationship with him that changes your consciousness to be in rest. And then you'll find that communication is natural. It's instinctive. It is from within. Uh, and it, it is very much more that you just know his heart. And yes, you can talk and he can talk with you at times. But it becomes more of a 
you just know each other's heart and you instinctively live that out from a state of union and oneness and then all that you're doing in the realms of heaven and your spirit is doing is doing because you're there and you're here and what you're here is connected to what you're doing there and everything flows and you live in this state of peace and rest and you enjoy life so much more life is there to be enjoyed life is there to be fulfilled contented that you're living in an intimacy of knowing that he's your dad he loves you and in that state of love he wants the best for you and he just wants you to outwork that relationship on a day-to-day -day basis and, and live in love joy and peace live in rest if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much